As a technologist, I really liked waking up every morning and setting foot in the clinic and being able to have a different experience every day. Your number one goal in your profession is to always be an advocate for the animals. Usually with most animals and pets, they're also associated with the person. So you need to be that advocate for the pet's owner as well. In very many practices, you're actually the first person that the public meets and greets. So you are actually the first line ambassador for veterinary medicine. You're helping your passion every day with helping animals and I think that's, that's huge and that's where this, this career gets really sticky and keeps those people around is that they're doing what they love. It's great that we can, we can help support these techs um, from going from you know, working as basically cleaning kennels as they're starting for the part-time job all the way up to working in these, these huge facilities and, and, and doing high-end, high-risk anesthesia procedures with their specialty focus. A good day for me is having a hip by car and a seizuring dog and a dog that's bleeding all come in at the same time. Um, you don't have enough room in your treatment room and then you end up with a person that's just like one person holding two dogs like this. Things just come flying through the door and I deal with it as it comes. So I'm a person that really likes that. You have to want to do this to stay in it. Um, it can be hard. There is a lot of compassion fatigue in the veterinary field. Um, so you do have to be prepared for that kind of thing. I chose shelter medicine because I wanted to make a difference in the animals who didn't have a voice and whose, unfortunately for a lot of them, the owners weren't providing the adequate care that was required for them. I get to make a difference in every animal that comes in the door. I get to care for them, I get to love them, um, you know, I get to see them walk out the door to their new forever home, uh, I get to see them walk out to their owners. The best day in the job is when we have animals that go home to their owners that have been missing for six to eight years and we've been able to reunite them with their, their original owners. So I can use it to help relieve pain, increase circulation, accelerate healing, that sort of thing. I mean there's nothing like having a dog that's for instance had a, had a a back injury and, and is, you know, paralyzed and then getting them walking again. I mean, that's one of the most amazing things. I think uh, a, lot of, a lot of pet owners are becoming more savvy and more uh, interested in, in keeping their pets around a long time. I mean, lots of people don't even have kids anymore, they have dogs, so, <laughs> so they want them with them as long as possible. I think mostly it's, it's just about helping animals and their people lead more quality lives and I really enjoy it and get, to pay, get paid to do something I love which is <laughs> who could ask for anything better than that. <laughs> I feel very lucky to uh, be a manager and be able to have worked with the techs that I have over the years. The staff here mean the world to me. They go above and beyond their job. They have a lot of expectation put on them every day. I've just been so proud of the people they've become. Whether it's the tech assistant, kennel helper, veterinarian, or RVT, we work as a team and we communicate together. It's about love. You know, these animals need to know that they are loved and they are loved. We are sisters and brothers and we work together to make an animal's life better.